No visit to the mother city is complete without a visit to Table Mountain. The iconic vistas from the top are world-renowned. But for those who do not want to hike up the mountain, there are two cable cars. Throughout the year, the local team of experts do maintenance. But after 300,000 cycles up and down the mountain, important and highly skilled maintenance is needed. We represent a global icon, a new seven wonder of the world, and we want to ensure that we delight our visitors. And one of the things that people want to know when they get on board an aircraft or where they, uh, you know, undertake any sort of trip, etc., is what are the safety measures that you put in place. And we want to give people the assurance that we'd rather not be open for five weeks and ensure their safety than to try and skimp on time and then put their safety and our staff and our people's safety at trust. Table Mountain Aerial Cableway meets the highest standards of the Swiss Cable Car Federation. Experts from Switzerland, Austria, Germany and Venezuela have been brought in to work side by side with the local maintenance team. These massive track ropes that carry the weight of the cars have been cut by 40 meters and replaced. The job is immensely stressful and demands the utmost concentration at all times. And because the cars are not running, there is extra hard labor needed. We put in at least six months worth of, of planning normally into something like this to make sure that we have everything. But of course, there are things that you discover as, as you go through the work. And, and all of those special items need to, need to be carried up the mountain. Um, and that can include some special cement um, that comes from Germany, uh, which guys have to carry on their backs in a backpack. Um, so it's, it's not as easy as just getting the, the, going to the local hardware store. Everything has, has to be carried up um, to the top. Streicher says the team is however very proud of their hard work knowing that they contribute to people's safety while enjoying, arguably, one of the most beautiful places on earth. If all goes according to plan, visitors using the cars will be welcomed back by the end of August. Mariska Boerta, SABC News, Cape Town.